New at four today, as COVID-19 variants spread across the U.S., health experts are encouraging you to up your mask game. You can either wear two cloth face coverings or upgrade to a heavy-duty medical mask like an N95 or KN95, but sometimes these masks are hard to find and the fake ones are popping up online. So joining us now live via Zoom is Project N95 Director Ann Miller to talk about what you need to know before you upgrade your mask. And thanks for joining us. Thank you. First of all, what is Project N95? Yes, Project N95 is a nonprofit that was founded at the beginning of the pandemic, and um, we're here to help everyone get quality PPE from trusted suppliers. Okay, that is good news because I have a lot of questions. <laughs> We've been hearing that wearing a single cloth mask throughout the, uh, I've been wearing a single cloth mask throughout the entirety of the pandemic, but we've heard now that with these new variants, double masking or KN95 is better. So should people like me who've just been wearing the cloth mask really take the plunge and upgrade our masks at this point? Yeah, that's been the advice from the CDC to, to double mask. So you would wear a surgical grade um, uh, mask underneath it, like a surgical pleated mask that you see, the blue pleated mask. You would wear one of those on the as your first layer for filtration, and then you would wear a cloth mask over it. So when I talk about those ma pleated masks or those surgical masks, we're talking about ones that are rated to an ASTM standard, not something that you might see at retail, which might not have a standard on the box at all. You need to know though what your first layer is, is providing you some protection, and then your cloth layer helps to take care of any kind of leaks around the sides. So how do we spot a KN95 mask? Oh, KN95s are the dead giveaway. It has ear loops. Um, um, N95s, they have head straps. And they, they, N95s, they operate because of that compression, that they, the compression fit. That's how they achieve their filtration efficiency and their lack of leakage. So the head strap's really important in an N95, like you see in that picture. And then for a KN95, you're going to have an ear loop. The main thing that I say about a KN95 is that you always want to make sure that you're buying an FDA emergency use authorized and EUA cleared KN95. There are 167 KN95 brands that have been listed by the FDA on their website. Uh, so these are the ones that I would recommend because they say that they're safe to be used as a healthcare worker. Most healthcare workers don't use them because they got kind of a bad rap at the beginning or their hospital just doesn't buy them for them. But um, there are 167 different KN95s that are okay for consumers to use. And you mentioned healthcare workers, you know, maybe 10 months ago at this point now, we really heard don't buy these masks. Our healthcare officials need them. They're needed in the hospitals. Uh, something must have changed along the way, supply chain, that, that it's okay to go out and get these now? So, um, over time, the world demand for uh, PPE has decreased. A lot of the other countries have gotten their um, COVID under control. So the world isn't demanding as much in terms of masks. And at the same time, uh, domestic production has increased. And so we're able to see an increase in supply. And that's the reason why we can see more people getting N95s and um, KN95s. There's, there's more availability and there, there's more surgical mask availability in the US as well. Uh, the main thing is, is that we've been here vetting and verifying the, um, the PPEs for healthcare workers, for frontline workers, for essential workers, for anyone who needs to get out in the world and be safe. So the idea behind what we've been doing is that we do the research so that you don't have to. And I understand you have a place on your website where people can shop and, and get some reliable non-counterfeit masks. So what do you recommend if someone does want to upgrade their mask, where can they go to buy something that's actually going to work? What I tell people is you can buy from whatever your preferred location is, but make sure you know what you're buying. At Project N95, we're at www.projectn95.org. We have PPE that we have vetted and verified and we offer both healthcare workers uh, products and we offer consumer products as well. So we have two different marketplaces for both types of users. And um, we are what I call a people powered marketplace. So we have customer service agents who will take your call, who will answer your questions. So you don't have to feel like, am I making a mistake or am I buying the right product? So we're here to help. And Miller, as always, uh, we appreciate you joining us. Very uh, interesting insight. I actually didn't know about the, the pleated ones, yes. but those come at grades as, as well. Now I have to check yeah. the box I have at home. <laughs> right. Good advice. We appreciate it. Make sure it has the standard. Yeah. We will do that. Thanks for joining us at four today. Thank you very much.